Hi, everyone. My name is Tracy Young. I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of PlanGrid. PlanGrid was founded in 2011 by two construction engineers and three incredibly talented software engineers. We were part of Y Combinator's winter 2012 batch, and today we are the construction industry's favorite software. Over 350,000 projects have been built with PlanGrid. And we're now the largest digital blueprint repository in the world, with over 34 million sheets of blueprints in our cloud. So if there's one thing I want you to remember today, it's that when you guys become wildly successful and find yourself needing to build your own office building or remodel your home, just remember there's a construction software that can help you deliver your construction project on time, on schedule, and save you boatloads of money, and it's called PlanGrid. So for the last five years, I've basically only done two things. Build plan grid and watch a lot of nature documentaries. So my advice reflects that. The first piece of advice I'd give myself at the start of this journey five years ago would be to be a beaver. Beavers get such a bad reputation. Their name is misused all the time. But they're really just nice vegetarian builders like me. So let's talk about beavers for a second. They're basically the largest rodents. They uh, have lots of protein, and they're practically half blind. So everything wants to eat it. And humans like to trap it and skin them and make stupid hats out of them. So they have to find a way to protect themselves. But beavers are really small, and they've got little beaver hands and little beaver bodies. And so what they have to do is use their iron-clad teeth and gnaw down trees and then use those trees to build these massive dams to divert water for their little beaver den and to create this buffer around their home so that no predators can get to them. There's a point to all this, I promise. And so this beaver right here is taking a little beaver break and it's thinking to itself, man, I've been gnawing at this tree for a fucking long time. And I still have probably another five years to go. But you know what? This beaver is going to work hard and it's going to be patient because it knows that the only way to construct its dam is to get these materials and build it. And as founders, you will find yourself facing obstacles and just facing challenges that you just don't want to do because you know how much work is involved. And the only way to get through it, I've learned, is through hard work and being patient. And if you find a shortcut to this, because I haven't found it, please do email me at tracy at .com, Because the only thing we've figured out how to do is just to work hard and get through it. So the other thing I've learned from the beaver is to not complain. Think about it. If the beaver were to complain, it's going to drop that stick. And then something's going to come and eat it. So as it's trudging through snow and it's been working all day, what the beaver is going to do is be creative about its limited time and its limited resources. The beaver is going to figure out how to optimize their time and their resources. The beaver is going to gnaw through the bark and then eat it as food. And in doing so, it's surfacing the strongest part of the wood that it can use to build its structure because it's the best material possible while also feeding itself and its family. As founders, we have to be creative about the problems we're solving, about our product. But there's actually one thing that you can't be creative on, and we learned this the hard way. We decided to be so creative about how we wanted to organize our business and the structure within PlanGrid. In the early days, we decided that we would, do, we would do everything so differently. We would have a flat management structure, and everyone sort of reports to the founders, and no one would have titles. And that's how we were going to run our business. And we even said crazy things like, we're never going to hire MBAs. Rawr. Like, Why would we say that? We actually have several MBAs working at PlanGrid now, and they're incredibly smart, incredibly hardworking, and they're great people. And so there's things that you have to be creative about, the problems you're solving, your product, and then there's things that you can't be creative about because it just doesn't make sense. 
Things like organizational structures. Other people have figured this out, and it works time and time again. And after the beaver builds its dam, and it takes some years and so much work to make this, the seasons and the tides and the currents will change, and it'll find itself needing to swim back into that dam, taking down structures that it worked so hard on, and then rebuilding it back up. As founders, we need to iterate and improve on our product. We need to iterate and improve on our code quality and the way we talk to users. And we also have to iterate and improve ourselves as people, as leaders, as founders, as human beings. And the worst mistakes that I've seen in myself, as well as my founders, and people we have worked with and know, is the inability to admit to our faults and our mistakes and our weaknesses. Because what we're also doing is depriving ourselves of that growth and that improvement. Admit to what we suck at and try to work at it. Sure, it's gonna suck trying to work at it, it's gonna take a long time, but humans have an amazing capacity for improvement and growth. And if we want to win in whatever it is that we're trying to win in, this is the only option we have. The next piece of advice I'd give myself is to be a honey badger. Honey badgers are the most courageous animals and I have so much respect for them. And what I've learned from the honey badger is that you have to survive. So honey badgers love eating poisonous snakes. I'm not sure why, I think it's because they're high in protein or something, and they're tasty. And so it'll go after a poisonous snake, and the poisonous snake will just sort of protect itself by striking and then releasing, you know, deathly venom into the honey badger. But the honey badger will strike the snake and make it bleed to death. In the meantime, it'll pass out, and other animals will just die from the venom. But honey badgers will pass out for eight to ten hours, and we have no idea why this happens. There's actually lots of YouTube videos um, on this, and I've watched all of them. It'll wake up after eight to 10 hours, and it'll just eat that snake. <laughs> and so, as you're going through your journey, and I'm sure you guys have gone through lots of challenges and obstacles already, just as a startup, you don't have enough resources ever. We're at 200 people now, we've got great investors, we still don't have enough resources. And you'll find yourself thinking, wow, I'm not sure if we're gonna survive next month or the next two months. And every time that's happened at Plan Grid over the last five years, every time we just found a way to survive like the honey badger survives. And you also have to stand up for your team. As founders, we founded the company, but it takes the entire team to build it and grow it. And when challenges come up, as founders and as leaders of the company, we have to stand up for not only ourselves, our company, but also our team. And you might be looking at this and thinking, why, honey badger, you're too small? Why would you go up to that Lion King? What are you thinking? But when the Lion King attacks, that honey badger will run between its leg and bite it in its balls. So business, just like nature, it's ruthless and it's unforgiving, but it can also be very beautiful. As long as we find the right people to work with and we find the right problem to solve. Find people who remind you of animals. Find people who remind you of your own animal spirit and you guys will be able to build great things together. Also be very passionate about the problem you're solving. For Plan Grid, we're crazy in love with the construction industry. There's no one that cares more about construction workers than Plan Grid. And we believe that it is a privilege for us to write software and build tools that help construction workers do their jobs better. Because we know that every minute and every hour that we save them means that every minute and every hour they're getting back to spend with their families. And this is our passion, and this is what we will be doing for the next 50 years, for the next 100 years. 
Find the problem that you're passionate about solving. If you are not passionate about it, this journey will be way too hard and you will be given way too much otherwise. And if you have found the right people and the right problem to solve, congratulations, I'm really happy for you and I can't wait to read about you guys and what you're building. And when you find yourself facing an obstacle that it feels so impossible to solve, just think about the beaver, think about the honey badger, and channel your inner animal spirit inside you. Thank you.